legislative IQ. Increase your legislative intelligence with Florida's policy, budget, and campaign monitoring service. Subscribe today at legislativeiq.com. Jen Secor worried about her son Sean's future on more than one occasion. For 13 years, we lived in this kind of atmosphere of what are we going to do? You know, what are we going to do when we're gone? How are we going to plan for that future to happen? Sean has Down syndrome. He, along with millions of others in Florida, could have financial struggles ahead. Eight out of 10 of American citizens with a disability are not in the workforce. ABLE UNITED HOPES TO CHANGE THAT. THE ABLE ACCOUNTS LAUNCHED JULY 1ST AND ALLOW FAMILIES TO SAVE UP TO $100,000 TAX FREE. NOW IT'S JUST, I FEEL LIKE I CAN HAVE A LITTLE DEEP BREATH AND RELAX A LITTLE BIT. FLORIDIANS WITH DISABILITIES HAD PREVIOUSLY ONLY BEEN ALLOWED TO RECEIVE GOVERNMENT BENEFITS IF THEY MADE LESS THAN $700 A MONTH AND HAD LESS THAN $2,000 IN ASSETS. THE ACCOUNT WOULD ALLOW PEOPLE TO KEEP THEIR BENEFITS, SOMETHING MEGAN ATKINSON SAYS COULD BE LIFE CHANGING. I'm able to save a little bit of money so that we can, so we can get a house or other things like that and um, I can continue my education. Disability advocates say the accounts are a huge first step in ending poverty for the disabled. Prior to this, you earned a paycheck and you had to spend it right away because otherwise you were penalized for saving money. Florida is one of only three states that have established the accounts since a federal law was passed in December of 2014. Reporting in Tallahassee, I'm Matt Gelka.